Hey everyone, it's Liam here, and as you all know, OMC Movies, specifically OMC Movie, The Origin of Psyduck will be coming out on December 25th. If you have not watched Pure Apocalypse, it is highly recommended you do so before watching this. Before watching, not this, but before you watch, you know, the episode that comes out. But OMC Movie the Movie, today it's its third year anniversary, and I'm proud of that fact. Three years since this video came out, this movie is a very important milestone in my channel. It is one of, if not, my most important video on my channel. I believe so. I believe it is my greatest work on this channel ever. That's not an exaggeration. Like, I'm probably the most proud of this work of any other work, and I was going to get a crew member to do this with me, but... I asked him, and he said he has college to deal with, and he's pretty busy. So, this will just be my thing to do. And yeah, that's it. Let's watch the movie. And you will go in, we will go into the movie-making process and how it, how it all came to be. I have it in 4K as well, because we rendered this movie in 4K. Yep. I don't know what the thought process of this was. I think that was just put in because it was funny. And yep, here we go. Alright, so we went out one day and decided to film all of these shots for the movie. And it, it looks beautiful. These shots right here still look really, really good and beautiful. I will not deny that. Okay, and the rooms to go truck, obviously, we didn't play on that there. We just saw it run by and thought, hey, it fits with the movie. So, we filmed it go by. We, gr we pulled out the camera, and as quickly as we could, we filmed it. And then, as you can see, we decided to have all these shots of the characters just doing stuff in Pokey Hood to show that there are people who live here. Like so. They probably see upcoming what the main plot is. And this little gag right here that's about to come up, the... Breaking this news, right here. Today, there's an oh no electric company coming <laughs> to town. Yeah, this uh, my guy, gag uh, wasn't originally in the anyway, script, but we decided to put it in because we thought we it was funny. Yet, but they're planning to install some electrical <laughs> cables around the town. More on that at six. And yeah, like there wasn't really anybody around whenever we filmed these scenes, which was good. I mean, you'll see an occasional person pop yeah, up here or there when we were filming the movie, we but fun. nothing yeah, but now in substantial, way. nothing that would Dude, overall ruin the, the whole thing. That we lost. And then I decided Who's this scene was to show Charmander and Squirtle's dynamic, and then when Bulbasaur calls, the scene was supposed to show how usually in the show it reflects how they don't really take him seriously. <laughs> um, okay. Who was that? This was filmed, like, at a nearby park. He's calling about some and, like, keep in mind, most of this was filmed during the pandemic, so we didn't have a lot of resources to film with. What's going on here? We just got home from basketball practice. This we kind of had to rush a little bit behind the scenes because so who's Bruce? this lake was by, it, it's complicated, but this was by the lake. We kind of had to do our best to hurry this scene up. No, you idiot. But this Bruce scene that you're about to show, see, this was one of the first things filmed for the movie. It was one of the scene, first scenes ready, at least. I am Bruce Haynes. CEO, yeah, there, wind was a constant problem when filming this movie, but we did pretty well. I think we did okay enough at filming this. electricity of a standard 10-acre power plant. But in order to keep our power bills low for our value customers, we will be deconstructing Pokehood. The Pokehood name, like, that was never established in the show, but we decided to throw it into the movie for more establishment. Oh, and this... That knocked the power out of the, in the entire neighborhood after we filmed that. That knocked the power out in the entire neighborhood. <laughs> that story still cracks me up how that managed to do that. 
We didn't expect it to happen, but we figured it was us that did it, and it could not have been a coincidence. I told you guys this was serious. And then, yeah, Charmander and Squirtle tar start taking him seriously. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? And then, this is really ridiculous. They can't just turn yeah, this down. Yeah, this Pikachu's appearance in the movie. And then this right here was to display how Psyduck does not like Pikachu. Do you not realize the neighborhood's about to get blown up? <laughs> is this where we're having this town meeting? Yes, Snarlax. Now let's go home so we can make a plan. Yeah, and this right here, there were audio cut. There was more audio said, but wind again was a huge issue, so we ended up having to cut it. And then pure power right there. And then, okay, this scene right here, you all know, the scene where Charizard is watching the hub. This wasn't in the script either. A lot of the best jokes in this movie weren't in the script. But... We decided to put them in on this spot, and we thought they would be funny, so that's what we did. Anything we had on the spot, any joke we had on the spot, we'd just go for it. And I think that worked in our favor. At least it tastes better than Snorlax's Lunchables. So this was also the movie where we first see Bulbasaur and Squirtle's parents for the first time. And yeah, Bulbasaur's dad is fiery, which... A lot, some people don't yeah, understand yeah. the Pokemon pairings I had like for the like parents. Point. Like, this obviously yeah. does not make sense, but it's fucking you. OMC but movies, no, man. None of this is supposed to make sense. Yes, <laughs> father. And plus, I like I said, this was 2020. I didn't have a lot to work with. I didn't have a job. I didn't have a whole lot of money like I do now. Back to my father. Oof, that sucks, bro. Bye. And then I'll wait. Yeah, this was kind of added in last minute, this scene right here. All right, Bruce, you're live. We were just filming and messing around, and then we decided we're going to put this in. Uh, you said that we're doing the live right now. It's five. Yeah, none of this routine was in the script except for what's about to come up on screen. Anyways, thank you again for tuning in to this daily update. As you all know, in six days... Yeah, Bruce didn't really have a motivation for his actions here, aside from, you know, building a power plant. But then, like, as you know, an OMC movie, Pure Apocalypse, we explained his story, which season three will further develop his story. Why? What's going on? Just go up. Okay. And then, yep, there's the eviction um, notice. Charmander, what's an eviction notice? It says eviction notice. Oh, well, what does that mean? It means they're gonna kick you out. But why? It's because... Wait, didn't you see that video at the lake? Oh, that. Yeah, that. It means we're running out of time. Yeah. Oh, well, what should we they, do? This that also shows... Sense. Come on. You know, that they're running out of time. We put this scene in... Hey, yo, folk, what you doing, here. man? Here. Like, I remember hey, me. these scenes Stop. got us banned from filming for Who's a while. All this here? The scenes at his house, <sighs> at Squirtle's house, got what us banned from filming for a bit. Not because of anything in the movie, problematically, yeah, but because we were in a pandemic, no, and so right. we had to pause filming for a good I month sure or two. But we were able to go back after, like, two months... And we got the rest of the movie done. So, in the end of the day, I think the delays ended up improving the movie more. And ended Problem up garnering solved. more hype for it. So I'm kind of happy the delays happened. Even though they weren't supposed to. Wait, no, that's not what happened. I just killed his employees. Oh. Well, we gotta find a way to save the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Kevin McFloyd music in the movie. I think that's how you say his name. There's a lot of Kevin McFloyd right, guys, music here. So we're done with putting up all the posters. And now we have to collect Yeah, this scene text. here shows you know Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur's oh, dynamic, and then yes. coming up with a solution yeah. to Bulbasaur save Pokey Hood. Aren't you grounded? And I thought you didn't believe And the it. reason why we made Charmander the main character of the movie is because one, all three of us preferred filming movies. Charmander videos over the Pikachu and Psyduck videos. Right, Pikachu, I'm and then, you with the drinks. like, we noticed the fans large. like the Charmander oh, characters well, more, so we brother, thought it makes sense anyway, to just luck. have yeah. them as the main characters of the movie. It's on the house. Go on. And then, okay, the tear gas scene over here. 
That was not in the script either. That was not in the script at all, but we found it and we were just laughing our asses off, so we decided, you know what? Let's put this shit in the movie. <laughs> it was a fun time. Putting this movie together was just so much fun. Hey, oh, he's Psyduck, it's just tear gas. May I have a sample? Sure. And then, yeah, like, as you can see, it doesn't even hit Psyduck's eyes. Which, I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> and yep, four days left they got. Like, we didn't film this scene because of controversial events happening at the time, so we didn't film it during around that time. But, oh yeah, something else I forgot to mention. At the scene where Charmander was putting taking down the tree... From pure power there's a guy that came up to us and asked what the sign says and wanted to know about the movie and such it was kind of weird but yeah back to what's going on here the block party yeah the kids decided to throw a block party to save the neighborhood and we decided to include this scene mainly because we think <laughs> yeah it gets the plot kind of going more and every all their show that all their attempts have failed sure to save the neighborhood, so Yay. here's what happens. And then, of course, we introduce Angel Dust as hey, Bruce's doing, right-hand man, the secondary antagonist of the movie. Those kids so we had... Like, nobody gave us any weird looks when filming this movie. Uh, yeah, we had him tell Bruce, which makes sense as an action for him to do, because he works for him. I like how clean this looks in 4K. What? Block party tomorrow. Not on my watch. Notify the gods. This block party is going down. All right, Bruce. Talk to you later. And then, yeah. He has him hang up on Bruce and talks to him later. To which... Hello, hello, here's everyone. Com Thanks for coming to this event. Okay. <laughs> um, as a little tribute, I paid this man over here 50 cents to play the trumpet. Enjoy. Yeah, this is my brother. That guy's my brother, because he played a part in a previous oh, episode, so we decided we decided to include him again, and like, have him as a reference to a previous episode, which, this flashback right here, like, we didn't make this for the movie, we made this, this was from a previous episode of the show that we included, it was a Thanksgiving Look, special sorry, episode. Guys, it was all I can afford. Take it away, random guy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Like, he's not actually playing that, by the way, because he's wearing a mask because he didn't want his face to be shown. Now that the trash is gone, it's party time. <laughs> yeah, we had a couple different people work on the block party scene. I remember this was like the last thing we filmed before we couldn't film for two months. We filmed the entire block party scene. Yo, this party's bopping, man. I know, right? Wait, huh? Oh no. Uh oh. Yep, and then some of these guys I think you've noticed are previous villains Wait, from other kids. OMC movies episodes, and then yeah, here's Harold. We decided to have oh, him in because he was such a prominent character in the show. So we have him go with Psyduck, which obviously didn't happen. This scene also wasn't in the script, but one of the crew members, the one who plays Squirtle, to be more specific, he thought it would make more sense to have Char a scene where Charmander and Squirtle talk about the permit and how they didn't actually get a permit for the party, like they said to. Yeah, let's do it. And then, yeah, as you can see, this led to disaster, and then, of course, it led to the arrest of Jigglypuff, which was a reckless act on Squirtle's part. And then, this Discord call scene, this was filmed during the time where we couldn't really talk. Like, we could not talk, but we couldn't really, you know, film a whole lot. We couldn't necessarily film. But we decided, yeah, to have a scene. This was scene was supposed to be them going to an arcade at first or playing video games, but obviously pandemic. So we decided to turn the scene into a Discord call. Squirtle, don't lose hope, please. Charmander, that's enough, okay? I'm gonna eat dinner. 
Okay, and um, people did try friending Charmander on Discord, but that account didn't have an email to it. Oh, and of course this scene. The crew objected to me writing on the sidewalk for this scene, but I was like, fuck it, let's do it. And we ain't getting in trouble for it or nothing, even though this is technically vandalism. We ain't getting in trouble or nothing, but my dad did see it, and he questioned me about it, and I told him, hey, this is just, we're just filming... It was just for the movie. That's all it was. Like, sometimes I'd be... Alright, wait. I'll, I'll get into this in a bit. Maybe not in a bit, but later on. This scene right here was also supposed to take place outside of Target. Like, or outside of a plaza. But we decided to just put it in front of his house instead. And I could have easily gone down there and just filmed this all myself, but I didn't. Because I didn't want to go through all the trouble of doing so. <laughs> and there was a scene at the end where Charmander said, What's up, his ass? But that was cut. You still have the tear gas. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's your mom? Charmander, you stay out of this! <laughs> yeah, and Charmander just walks off like that. What do you, why do you have tear gas? <laughs> oh, the riot. What riot? Uh, over the neighborhood. Oh, fair enough. But your mother's gonna be in jail for a week. She keeps escaping. That's my mom. Yeah, that's your mom, all right. Always cheating on me. That is not true. Like, we just put this scene here to have an interaction between Pikachu and Psyduck. And, like, that Pikachu, showing that Pikachu is also distressed about the situation, and not just Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur. And, okay, these scenes right here, all of the jail scenes, they were kind of, they were the last things to get filmed. And, originally, they were scenes where Jigglypuff was in front of a green screen, and she was actually in jail. Bruce wasn't going to hold her prisoner at first. But we decide to add it in, add that in, because, you know, we couldn't go to a jail or we couldn't get the green screen working very well. So we just decided to just have Bruce hold her as prisoner instead of, <coughs> instead of Jigglypuff actually going to real jail, which was the intention at first. But we decided... We decided to keep it like this, because it was Bruce's henchmen as well who did catch her, so it made more sense that she would be in Bruce's presence. And people did ask me why Bruce didn't just kidnap everybody, and that's exactly for that reason. It's just the way the script was written at the time. And that power plant will be built, and there's nothing you can do about it. Understand? Yet done yet. Oh, yes. I have some other business to attend to. Just make sure she doesn't escape. And then, yeah, like, there was a gag where Bruce would flush the toilet every time, but... Every time he walked out, but you couldn't hear the toilet in the audio. So, yeah, that was that. Oh, that like we got a lot of stuff to pack up. All right. This scene right here could be interpreted in both ways. We just found items on the floor and had them pack it up. And then, yeah, like, it could be used as, it could be interpreted as a sex joke, but that wasn't its intention. That was not its intention at all. What? You telling the story again? Yeah. During the Ronin 19, we were all I think you know why this that joke was put in there, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> Wait, a war happened here, then that should prove that this town could never be blown apart. We gotta find that document before it's too late. It won't be easy. You're gonna fail. I have to at least try. All right, well, I'm gonna go pack the gun. What? <laughs> I don't know where that came from, and I don't know why Angel Dust was here. That is correct. Honey, where I are forget we why. Shut up, Grookey. This neighborhood's gonna be blown to bits. Dad, I'm done with the way you. Actually, I'm kind of curious as to why. Go outside. That's your bed for tonight. Yes, father. I actually don't know why Angel Dust was supposed to be there. Pure power, power to the mark. Oh no. 
And then this right here, Charmander is supposed to be looking at a screen where Bruce is at. And then, yeah. This, both those scenes weren't filmed in one day, but Bruce was, this scene right here was all filmed. Like, this, this whole, all those Bruce dialogue shit, like, this whole routine was filmed in one take. Each of these camera things were done all in one take. And I think this was one of my best moments as Bruce. This was definitely my mo best moment as Bruce. And th my friend wrote all this dialogue for Bruce right here. He wrote it. I gave him two mansions, four luxury cars, one private jet, and three female celebrities. And so, you will move out one way or another, and or I will get my team to use deadly force. Jesus! I mean, obviously, it's oh, Bruce. Yeah, he, he would do something like that. <laughs> so, I gave him two mansions, four luxury cars, and yeah, you know the rest. So, yeah, another side deal. And if you don't sleep, I am illegally allowed to kill you. But, P.S., get our pure power battery block ultra for 30% off today only. Wait, what are you still doing here? Leave! <laughs> yeah, like I said, there's not much else to, not much to say there aside from, you know, the fact that that was all done with a take. Did you see the update? I remember yeah, we filmed behind the scenes for this part of the movie. We filmed well, some behind the that? scenes bits of it, but... Oh, well, that's simple, Squirtle. Yeah, like, it's the taken down because something got shown in the video that I didn't want shown. I'm not gonna say what, but it's lost media. You can never find it. ...and retrieve the document and save the neighborhood. You know what? I'm in. Yeah, see, like, there's people right there. Like I mentioned. Bulbasaur, you were here the whole time? Yeah, and this will be a tough mission. We need to take action. Yeah, this was a reference to Toy Story 2. I think you guys know that. Joining this, crazy adventure. this is a Toy Let's Story 2 reference. <laughs> I'm gonna call an Uber. Wait, why do you need an Uber? I'm gonna go to the one place that could possibly help us. Which is Subway. <laughs> Not Sorry, really. Boys, but I really can't help you. Why? He had an odds ones out plush, okay, so we I decided really to use that. I mean, I have one too, but we decided to use his because it was more accessible but there. The footlongs. That's what she said. That was deemed the worst joke oh, in the movie. I'm already close to retiring anyway. I know, but and I forget whose fault that was. This scene right here was to show that he was trying to convince them to save the neighborhood right here. Oh well, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm moving out tomorrow, so see you guys. Please help us! I'll see what I can do. Yay! <laughs> and then, yeah, like... As you can see here, the Wikipedia article... Like, we just used Inspect Element on this. And, like, obviously that doesn't imply anything, like... That Im well, I mean, that implies that the War of the Rona happened in 1944, which... That didn't. It was Inspect Element. Like, if you really want to read it, like, just click the heading of the article. Like, I'm not sure what popped up, but I think we just Inspect Elemented the first result of it. But for real, this is the best I can do for you guys, alright? You did well. Thanks. No problem. Any news on the location of the document? Yes, sir, I do. It's at 6942 PP Street. Ew. Wait, Squirtle, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just ordering us an Uber. Why, though? So we can get there faster. Ah, makes sense. All right. And then, yeah. My dad did all the car scenes with us. He did the whole Uber scenes with us. And there was supposed to be a moment where they realized, I think PP stands for pure power. But when we filmed that, we were in a different car doing so. We weren't in this car doing that scene for some reason. And my dad suggested they do a scene like that from the back where the car was driving. Because, you know, well, we're here, guys. in movies they All do right, that. I was concerned at first because of the license plate, but we we knew we could always just censor it, so we just did that. And yeah, we had him play it. We had my friend here play a receptionist. Can we speak to Bruce Haynes? No. 
But why? Don't ask questions, just leave. And we had him do an Australian accent. Mainly because Bruce had an accent. And we thought that would be cool. And then, right, yep. Everyone, we gotta find that document. You gotta be careful. There's cameras everywhere. Uh-oh. What kind of a start. fuck kind of camera is that? <laughs> Problem solved. Nice shot. Okay, this scene right here has gained a bit of, you know, weirdness, but what? the reason that's... why it was filmed like that was because Bruce was looking at the TV, <gasps> and then... What are those kids doing in this hallway? The... Okay, I'm trying to explain this better. So basically, we were on baby first, and we were waiting for the show to come on, but we were reduced down to time, so we were just... We just... I just had to, I just dialogued it to the point where, like, whatever was showed on TV, and then, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> you three be? Well, I'm Charmander, and these are my friends, Squirrel and Bulbasaur, and we heard you were going to tear down the neighborhood that we live in. Oh, don't worry. That neighborhood is getting grown up one way or another. Well, Bruce, that's where you're wrong. You see, after the War of Rona, there was a huge landmark placed in the center of the city that had a document. And that document said that, under any circumstance, this neighborhood cannot be destroyed. <laughs> yeah, like, of course Bruce was gonna lie about it to them. That's where we thought. Because this is the first time when Charmander and Bruce meet each other. To destroy Pokehood. Did the mayor approve and this? With Bruce, like, my accent was quiet in some bits, so we had to find ways to make yes. it louder. Yes, he did. So I would kind of train my voice in that Bruce, regard. What if I and I you think you're a liar. with pr future OMC Movies episodes, what Bruce's voice is going to be a lot better. Because remember, I was 17 when I first played Bruce. I, I was a 17-year-old. I just noticed you can hear the footsteps of the camera guy. And yep, there's my dad again in a different car. I don't know if you can notice that or not. Thank you, Mr. Uber driver. Well, I guess we can say goodbye to the neighborhood. Yeah, all the fun times at the park and everything. Guys, don't lose hope. Look, we've tried everything, Charmander. Yeah, like, this scene was a show that Squirtle and Bulbasaur have also lost hope from what happened. And then, yeah, we had Angel Dust here. Oh, Angel Dust, it's me, Bruce. Listen, these three boys found out about the document. What, the document that can shut down this plan? Yes, that's one. Listen. You see three boys. One is an orange lizard. The other, blue turtle. The other one's an ugly plant thing. Kidnap them and bring them to my office. Yes, sir. Yeah, obviously, Bruce wasn't gonna go kidnap the kids right away, right then and there. But again, like, the reason why he didn't throw them in his dungeon with Jigglypuff was because of, you know, the way the movie was written at the time. Hello? So, that was why. How? The document is locked up in his office somewhere in the safe or something. You need to get it tomorrow. I'll help you through the mission. We already tried that, you doofus. Do you want to save the neighborhood or not? <laughs> well, we don't got a lot to lose. Okay, meet me at Spider-Man's house tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, Spider-Man didn't really play a big role in the movie. Like, he was initially supposed to, but... A uh, lot of Spider-Man scenes got cut out of the movie. Ooh, what this button does. Don't touch that. And we realized at the end of it that Spider-Man didn't really do much. What do you want? But I think it was funny to make him a homeless guy. That was my idea oh, to something. make him homeless. Oh, Spider-Man, let me cut to the <laughs> here. Did you hear about all the recent news? There's a promotion out But we may bring Spider-Man no, back eventually. The neighborhood news, you know. Oh. Yeah, you know, pure power and everything. Well, basically, we are not going to let them win. We need your help. I can't help you guys, I'm sorry. Why? I, 
I'm homeless. How did it happen? Well, I got a divorce and lost my kids, and I also couldn't pay the mortgage. <laughs> All right, Spider-Man. I know life is really bad for you right now, but we need your help to solve the neighborhood, man. We gotta fix this. Fine, I'll help you. Yay! Yay! So, what's the plan? There you idiots are! Then of course we had Angel Dust stop you them. Me to hunt you all down. Now I demand you all to get in my car! Wait a minute, is Harold in that car? Why, of course he is, silly. He said he wanted to touch you all. Now get in my car! And then, yeah, Bulbasaur was gonna take him out. <laughs> I'll handle this. You may have to beat him this time, but I will assure you that that'll be wrong. I don't know, there's not much I can say with these scenes. Other than, yeah. All right, guys, we have to oh, this was, like, and one I'm of the very strong. first things we and filmed. It was, like, day two of filming well, when we filmed this. <laughs> And despite the wind, we decided to keep the scene this? in. It was a it was a debate on whether or not we should have kept this scene into the movie, but we ultimately decided to at the end of it. And I'm glad we did. Money to do that? Oh yeah? Well, I don't see you coming up with anything smarty. I have an idea. What if we dig a hole and put the bombs in it so when the trucks drive through, all of Bruce's employees die? die. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the thought process there in that plan was. <laughs> wow, I've been in here for a really long time, but I just found the perfect way to save myself. Don't even try it. And then yeah. Like I said, the jail scenes were the last things filmed for the movie. It was the day after, or a couple days after, we filmed all the car chase scenes that we decided to film these. The day we filmed the car chase scene was the day we announced the final release date for the movie, and it didn't get delayed. Because there are candles everywhere that will track every emotion you do. And guess what? If you do escape, you will be brought back here. This time with a little twist. You will be executed once I carry out my dirty work. And yeah, you will be done for once the neighborhood gets destroyed. So do not try it! I should really keep my mouth shut. Yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> and then, yeah, like... Guys, I need to tell you something important. Bulbasaur, what is it? This right yeah, here this is nearby. was you know filmed at night. I think that day we were initially finished, supposed to film a different no, scene, hmm. but so we decided to film stuff. this scene because it was dark at night, and it would hmm. show that there was okay, the next day. What's your idea? Okay, so remember that string we have? Uh, yeah, why? Okay, I'm gonna string myself to Bulbasaur, and he's gonna stand right behind me. This scene was before really we so filmed like the. Side, no, this we filmed this scene after the scene that's yeah. upcoming right yeah. now. Exactly we filmed this whole routine after like we filmed the very oh, next scene, right, which you'll see right about let's now. Let's go. Yeah, basically we filmed this whole. Th we filmed this scene before outside. Before we filmed outside, because my parents wanted us to get the outside stuff done quicker, quickly, so we needed to work under their time here, and we did just that. Uh oh. <laughs> ah! What are you guys doing? Get the key. We dropped it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're those kids first wanting me to kill and or kidnap. What's it? I'm getting my phone. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> ha! And what are you gonna do about it, kid? This. Uh-oh. And then, yeah. This scene right here, we were laughing after we filmed this because of the way we yanked Angel Dust unintentionally like that. And we knew whether or not, if we messed up, we knew we had to keep that Man, scene that in like that. You then we realized the next scene after this was filmed in the daytime, so we decided to resolve this by saying that. Okay, I think we're safe. For now. And yeah. Did you get the key? Uh, yeah, why? You're gonna need it. You need to go back to the Pure Power HQ and get the This key. was- This scene took us, like, three times to do it. The first time, that was the first day we filmed the movie. First time, first day we filmed the movie. Second time we tried filming it, it was raining. 
And then the third time, yeah, we got it right. We got the scene right. All right, Charmander. This is take two. I hope this goes good. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. This scene right here. Like, we didn't film all the car scenes on day one, but, like, my dad got a new car between the periods we filmed. Didn't even have to wipe this time. Ew. <laughs> so, but, yeah. Like I said, again, it's just repeat. There's, uh, I'll be a broken record if I explain this scene again. Because all the jail scenes, I could say the same thing for everything, for every jail scene. Because today is the day I destroyed Pokey Hood and throw it to bits. So you will be pretty soon once I carry out all the dirty work. Then yeah, I think you know who that is. It's the Uber that pulled up to the building. And then of course the security cameras. No, 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 no. I want the security cameras. Not the open up the entire prison button. I should have just said escape all feature right there and not open up the entire prison button. I could have escaped the whole time. Yeah, I don't know what evil CEO would have that and open up the entire prison button. <laughs> And that laptop we're using right there was a very old laptop we found in the garage for the scene. <laughs> and then yeah, that all the jail scenes were filmed in my garage. All right, guys. And then this was please. filmed at a nearby house with a fence. Let's go see if we can talk to Bruce. Bruce. Hey, Charmin, are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. And then yep, yeah, here's the scene where they're digging a hole. Digging this hole sure is hard. What are we doing? Oh, we're just gonna be planting that bomb in the hole that Trico so happens to be sitting on in the hole. Trico's so kind of a new character to this movie. Do you want this neighborhood to like, die? I made him more major because he's kind of new. Because I knew I was gonna neighbor. utilize him we more in the let show. Bruce win. Um, Trico, I don't think you should be sitting on that. Why? Because it could blow up any minute. Uh oh. Trico, it's turning red. Throw it, throw it, throw it. And then, yeah, th this explosion wasn't much. The scene gets laughs because of how tiny that explosion was. And then, yeah, the Pure Power headquarters. Hey, I saw off security cameras here, so be careful. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just moving this down to distract the guards. That way, so you don't get caught. Then, yeah, that that's how that went. And then... Oh yeah, this the neck the scene where Bruce comes in in a moment here, like there during that scene, this right here, yeah this, like I managed to leave a hole in the wall after filming this scene, and this was filmed in my brother's room, and I felt bad afterwards. Did you actually think this scene was also filmed the same day we filmed the scene where Bruce was first meeting the kids. From what I remember correctly, this both scenes were filmed on the same day. Bruce was always fun to play as. But I'll get into something in a moment. And yep, that's the document. It's about to go out the window. And then, of course, we have him throw the document out the window. For the scene. God! We're here, sir. Now my gods will lock you both away, and you will never see the life of dead. Charmander, look over there. There's batons. Alright, let's get them. Now look who's in charge. <laughs> and then, yeah, this wasn't in the script either. I need your help. Ouch. Sorry. Yeah, that wasn't in the script. Like, him knocking Squirtle out, but we decided to add it because it was funny. Okay, this scene around here, well, I realize I should have had Charmander and Squirtle run away because Bruce could have grabbed them, but this right here. 
Okay. This scene, we filmed on a day where we were supposed to film the ending of another scene, which I'll tell you what it is when we get... Actually, no. It was the end of the scene where Bruce meets his comeuppance. We were supposed to film the end of that scene the next day. Because we couldn't film all of that in the first day, but we ended up filming this instead. For two reasons. One, there was construction going on on my house roof. And two, I was about to pass out in the Bruce outfit. And, like, I said I still didn't mind filming regardless with it. And that was conveniently also the day that... Hmm, how do I say this? That was conveniently the day we found the Rooms to Go truck going by. So, all of this was basically filmed. Everything inside of there. Then the other reason, yeah, I was about to pass out, so we decided to just film something inside instead. I told you you won't get away with this. Now, please, kindly. This, these scenes over here were filmed in a rush. These were like, one of the last couple of scenes we had to get done. For the movie. Very well then, gentlemen. Take the tape for us. And then, okay, I'm gonna be honest. This scene right here was inspired by Monsters, Inc., and... There was supposed to be a scene where Squirtle was supposed to get rid of the uh, people chasing him. Like, he was gonna slam the window on the people chasing him. But that got cut for some reason. I forget the reason why that got cut. <coughs> that, yep, this is the best scene of the movie. Alright, I'm calling Uber. It's coming up. This right here. The car chase sequence. This whole thing was done within three hours, but we had to write Bulbasaur out of it because the crew member who played Bulbasaur was out of town for Thanksgiving week because that's when this scene was filmed. And this was like one of the this was like the second to last thing filmed for the movie because we knew how much effort this scene was gonna take. But I also remember the crew called me crazy for wanting to film a car chase scene like this. But hey, we managed to make it work, and it turned out the best scene in the movie. Another thing my crew kinda was a little, you know, iffy about was me playing Bruce in the first place. Because they thought, like, because I play Charmander already and I play Pikachu, that it would be complicated for me to play as Bruce. But after a little bit of filming with him for the first time, we knew immediately that... I was definitely fit for the character, and the audience seemed to agree. People have told me they could not see anybody else as Bruce except for me. And which shows that I fit the role, I guess. <laughs> I need to give myself a little more credit there. Darn it, I missed. And I'm very proud of this whole movie, but the thing I'm most proud of is my performance as Bruce and this entire car chase sequence in general. Give me the tape now. You have no other choice. This scene was kind of dangerous to film because I could have easily ran over that tape. And then I could have fell or something. I wasn't even wearing a helmet. So that makes things even worse. Let's see how they like it when I take it to my set. Charmander, catch the bazooka. This scene was originally supposed to be filmed with another bazooka. The script is a bit more consistent than the actual movie itself. Like, the original script. I don't know if I'll ever share that. I wouldn't mind sharing it. But, back to this scene. This scene right here, the news. I decided I thought it'd be funny if we had the Uber and Bruce on the bike just go off in the background while the news was playing and then Charmander shoots Bruce's wheel, like, in the background while this happening. So who's in the mood for some ice cream right now? Uh, yeah, I am, but wait, wait, wait. Hey, it's that Uber we saw in the news, and wait. Charmander's in there? Charizard, your son's in there! Oh no! Uh, we gotta After help them. him! <laughs> wait, what? Out of the way! Damn it, we didn't stop him. Uh, yeah. Then of course the Uber is gonna go up by, you know, the area, the block, right here. We lost Bruce. Oh no. It's almost the end of the road. Everyone, hang on tight. Ah! 
And yeah. And there's Spider-Man, like, there was originally going to be more to the entire car chase sequence, but it was cut due to time. And that entire thing, the entire car chase sequence was filmed in three hours. And also because there were constant lawnmowers going off while we were filming the movie, and that was really annoying. It was really, really annoying to have those lawnmowers go off, so we decided to cut the entire thing short. But we had a bunch of plushies in the back of the truck for the movie. All right. While we were filming the scene. Son, how did you find the document? Dad, the document did exist, but here's proof that Bruce ripped it up. Play the tape. We're way ahead of you. So this scene was filmed simultaneously along the scene where, like, the half of the ending scene of the movie, where Bruce meets his comeuppance. But, yeah, we decided to throw this in because, obviously, this was the only way Bruce was gonna get exposed for his crimes. Well, just like your little plan, it's about to go out the window. The people- the thing that people talk about the most about this movie when they bring it up to me is just Bruce. Bruce is, like, the thing people oh bring up to I me. It, he is the most memorable of part of the movie, and right, people have said that he's Bruce the best he's part of the movie. And I think that's... I don't know if it would have been as good if anybody else played Bruce that wasn't me, is what people have also said. And I'm a little surprised by that. So, I don't think... I think I'm just irreplaceable as Bruce. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you agree with that. If there's even comments on this video. For some reason, the trailer for the... The trailer for the Psyduck thing is bad. Not bad, sorry. The, like, the trailer for the Psyduck thing, comments aren't on there. That's what I mean, sorry. Yes, son, we knew we raised you to be a standing up citizen in this community. Then, yeah, we had this. We decided to throw this scene in for Squirtle's parents, for Squirtle to also see his parents. This wasn't in the script, but yeah, this was just the big fight scene. Yo, we better kill these guys, or else... It was also decided the fight scene needed more dialogue to it than the script originally had, so... We took care of that. It's a <laughs> yep, and there they go. Ooh, what does this do? And we put this in as a reference to Psyduck's tear gas. <laughs> then yeah. There you are. This scene was also filmed within like on two separate days. Charmander launched the ball. Because of time reasons, we had to film this scene on two separate days. Me. <laughs> now come on, you're coming with me. Come on, come on, well, let's go. Come on, stop. You will leave my son alone. <laughs> ah! Problem solved. We won. We won. And then, yep, here comes the. Oh no, you did Yep. Yeah, Bruce doesn't have his cane here for some reason. I forget why I made that choice here. And you still have me, so I will be destroying this neighborhood, whether you are like it or not. There's Bruce! Let's get him! Like, I put a lot of emotion behind this scene. Like him dodging the car and everything. I try to give that same energy for the whole movie. <laughs> they can't escape now. What? Uh -oh. hmm. What should I do? I know. And then yeah, they're blocking the car.
Let's and then do this. The reason why we stopped filming here, you could see it a little bit. We stopped filming on this day because, like, it was starting to rain. So we decided to do one half now, and then the other half afterwards. No more games. I will kill you both now. Hold it right there. If you move, I'll shoot. Stay right there, bro. Yeah, after this, the rest of I this was filmed on the next now. day. And you will not get away with this. Especially you, the orange lizard, the blue turtle, and that brat with the green bow. You're under arrest. For what? I paid you not to arrest me. And let me go through my plan with the destruction of Pokey Hood. You're under arrest. And then, yeah. Destruction of property. He got arrested Terrorism. at the end of the movie. Like, murder. originally, the scene where Squirtle had the gun out and everything. What are you doing Squirtle was originally going to shoot Bruce at the end of the movie. Or the Uber was originally going to hit Bruce and kill him. But we gl we're we glad we ended up just having him arrested because people liked Bruce yeah, and wanted him back for more. So I'm glad we did that. And I think this was one of the scenes we filmed later down the line. Maybe towards the end as well. Because this is, of course, the end scene of the movie. No Psyduck, those boys over there did. But you're too late and whatever. We could celebrate. Now come on, Jigglypuff. Let's go home. What about me? Yes, you too. Now let's go. Yeah. And yeah, we decided for them to have a scene, so. So guys, yeah. you want to <laughs> tomorrow at my house? Yeah. All right, see you guys at three. Bye, guys. Bye. And bye to you too. And then, yep, that's the end of the movie. So, what do I think revisiting this movie three years later today? I think it still holds up pretty well, and I think it. I'm still really proud of my work on this movie. It was fun to film. Very fun movie to film. Like, I think it was more fun to film than edit, but I wasn't really doing the editing portion. He was, like, one of my crew members were editing the movie. I think, and I appreciate him for that. And, yeah, that's the director's commentary for this movie. I will say some other things, some fun facts, like they were going to go to other locations, like a strip club at one point was considered for the movie, and many other things were considered, like the arcade I mentioned, and outside of a store was supposed to be a location we filmed at, and we were originally for Pure Power going to use the neighbor's house for the hallways, but Pandemic obviously restricted us from doing so. So, yeah, that's it. Bye, everyone! Thank you all for watching.